What's up guys, Jay's Two Cents here, and uh, Phil and Nick, obviously. Say hi guys. Hi. That's a little weird being hi on this guys. side of the mic. No one goes to Facebook anymore these days. You know why? Because Facebook sucks. But anyway, one of the things that Facebook does that kind of draws me in is they like to show your memories where you go back 10 years sometimes on whatever it was that you were posting. So it got me thinking. It might be fun to do the exact same thing with some of my YouTube videos here and there. So today we're gonna go all the way back to July 16th, 2013. And the reason why I did this is in the 1 billion view giveaway video, a lot of people mentioned like, oh my gosh, that was such a weird flashback seeing your very first video. I was not here for those videos. So it's a way for us to kind of revisit the content and see how things have changed as uh, time has moved on. And time has moved time on. Time has moved on. <laughs> <laughs> The Kraken Series AIOs from NZXT come in many shapes and sizes to fit your CPU needs. The Kraken Elite Series RGB coolers feature a 2.36 inch 640 by 640 customizable LCD screen, showing system info or custom images and GIFs for a custom look. F Series RGB fans and a single breakout cable for simplified installation. If low key is more your thing, the Kraken Elite Series also comes in a black non-RGB edition while retaining the amazing pump screen. To see the full lineup of new Kraken Elite and non-Elite coolers from NZXT, follow the link in the description below. I think one of the major differences you guys are going to notice right away is there's no ads in the video. Oh, <laughs> there's no yeah. Baked in ads. Oh, like, yeah. Nobody <laughs> believed in me back then. Even, <laughs> I, even I didn't believe in me back then. Okay, so like I said, this is July 16th, 2013. I'm going to preface this. I was still struggling a year in to find my identity. Okay, so anyway. What's up all you hardware junkies? This is Jay's Two Cents and we're checking out the, the Define, Define XL R2. If that doesn't date this video I already, I don't know what does. Cause like the R4 was, was already potato. old by the time <laughs> I, I started working for you. Do you remember why I got this case? Do you remember what this was for? Do you remember that guy that owned the, the, the high-end watch store that I built all those desktops for, for his like cashier machines and stuff? Yeah. yeah. This was one of those cases. Uh, that, so I just was like, I might as well review it. <laughs> um, I also don't know why I called everyone hardware junkie. Cause it literally, Maybe it's just the Inland Empire in me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> What's up on you, Victorville? <laughs> Hardware. What's up, Victorville? <laughs> it's the high desert vibes. Hardware crack hands. I mean, wait, what? <laughs> All right. So this intro, I made in PowerPoint. The power of PowerPoint. At work, mind you. Because I didn't own PowerPoint. Ooh. I used the company. You're going to get in trouble, computer. dude. They're Not anymore. That company's out of business. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I stopped that's, working there and we're not in business, so I mean, I don't know. That's what's one happening. way to never get in trouble with HR. Oh, and also, too, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a, a little funny backstory here. So, I mentioned these stories on Facebook, right? So, we're not filming this on the 16th, obviously, we're filming it ahead of time, but the day that we're recording this right now, uh, one of my memories was literally this. I feel so liberated today. It's gonna be a great day. First, I, lo I loved old Jay's optimism. Like young Jay. <laughs> I know, we used to type so proper too. I don't know what it was about like something in like your 20s. It's going to be a great day. <laughs> Half the office is out. So already it's a great day because people are gone, right? Yeah. Uh, so I got the lights off from reclining in my office chair, listening to music and chilling at work. If you had told me four years ago when I started here that I would go from the bottom to the management or to management at IT, I would have laughed. But I also would have pondered. It's funny how things turned out, which is why I'm only along for the ride. And then I followed up my post with, yeah, I said, although watching Breaking Bad has me feeling that I am probably in the wrong business entirely. <laughs> so anyway. That hasn't changed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so if this doesn't date the fact that Breaking Bad was still on air. Okay, anyway, moving on. <laughs> when that that animation, the packing, really... First of all, what is the music? Oh, I talk uh, yeah, about I don't, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's like, it's the like. Fashion runway. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say excited porn, but yeah, <laughs> fashion runway is probably. Okay, let's hear what I have to say. Much to say here. They do put Apparently a Apparently I don't have much to say. Okay. <laughs> you had seven and a half minutes to say. That's so, so look, there are chapters down here, by the way. I'd like to point out that only 18 seconds is covering the packing material. Listen. And for that is When it comes to the packing, there's nothing really much to say here. They do put a lot of foam protection on this case, so I don't worry about it getting damaged in shipping. Oof, there we go. <laughs> End of the video. Segment? That was the segment? <laughs> Sometimes I wish I could be that concise these days. Yeah. What is yeah, this animation? Like, I don't I, know. 
<laughs> this is what no, I was. I remember back then I was using a, a bootlegged version of Sony Vegas. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was my also also my first NLE, and then and then I moved to iMovie, then Final Cut. <laughs> but yeah, Sony Vegas for sure. Now on the surface, this case does not really appear to be much of a flashy case. Don't let that fool you. There's a lot of design effort that's gone oh, into wait, the appearance was voice of this over case. Because I felt like the easier process as a one man show yeah. was to just film it and talk about it. And yeah. so what I was actually doing was recording in Vegas while it was Oh yeah, the, 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 yeah. Like the live like yeah. audio thingy, yeah. This model is called Titanium and the front door so is like a brush. Everything's so small. I mean, 27 was like pretty big. I, I think it's average. <laughs> yeah, yeah, jeez. <laughs> I want to point out, I love this era of Fractal because this is when they still had real metal and stuff. Yeah. Now they have all the faux plastics and stuff. Oh really? And let's, let's not ignore the fact that their design elements haven't really changed over the last decade. Aluminum and I mean, it, it does be have a titanium tint really to it. It's very <laughs> attractive. Outside. But the details don't stop there. Even the case feet are chrome. The top of the case natively supports. Gosh, so basic. This was shot on your Canon, huh? Yeah, uh, T2i. T2i. Yeah. It was a T2i. Yeah. That's why it's 720p. Me and Jay have like the no, look, exact same. Look, that's setup. why it's 720p. Yeah. <laughs> and then you know how many people back then were like, a tech channel that only films in 720p? <laughs> And then when I went 1080, it's like, why is it such high resolution? It takes forever to watch. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there is no side window in this case, so if you want to show off the guts of your PC, too bad. That's funny. That's funny. Imagine a case coming out today without a side panel option. In slots. The PSU does mount at the bottom and it has a rubber so ring. So far, I feel like this is better than any current case video I've done. <laughs> Because <laughs> you can tell well, I actually put effort. It's just like very, a lot of effort into it. It's direct to the info. It, it doesn't have any of like. That's the, why it's only seven minutes long. Yeah, it doesn't have yeah. any of the like the you attempting to unbox things and stuff flying or everywhere. Stalled to reduce vibrations from yeah. the power supply. Also located in the rear is a fan filter that runs the entire length of the bottom of the case to keep dust from making. I will tell you this though. My inspiration back then definitely was drawn from Hardware Connects because back then and. Still back then, all the way to today, they are like the case review kings as far as I'm concerned. Inside your system. But keep in mind, if you have the system close to a wall, it'll be kind of difficult to pull it out. On the top of the case in the front, you will oh, find your point. headphones yeah. and They all come out the front now. Yeah, because you have to move the whole tower yeah. to pull it out. Phone jack, a reset button, a very Wow, their cool tolerance has gotten a lot better. Holy crap. That's like American dude, automotive. That's Tesla gaps right yeah, there. Yeah, look at the freaking reset button, dude. On the inside of the front door, you'll find four five and a quarter expansion slots. Okay, there's where your dating is right there. Four. Four expansion slots on DVD top. drive, CD burner, zip drive. Fan controller. Fan controller, there you go. I feel like I should point out, if we look like we're all looking different directions, we've got the a big TV in front of us. Oh. But because I'm working the computer, I'm looking right here, which... <laughs> So I feel like you guys are looking there and I'm just like... <laughs> Behind the front grill, you'll find a pre-installed 140 millimeter grill. fan, as well the as some expansion for Dude, we, ho we heard you love filters, Fractal. <laughs> I know, jeez. Oh, I forgot about that. The fans came out in, in the one piece. bracket. So like, it, the whole thing came out, yeah. Was that a, was supposed to be for a radiator or...? Yeah, no. no. It only fits fans, yeah. yeah unless you removed... The drives. Unless you, yeah, unless you removed the drive yeah. cages right there. But look at that, look at... Because the drive cages were sideways for the side axis, it was like airflow was terrible. Allowing for either performance or silent operation. It was like one of the first whooshes in my channel right there. <laughs> you like that centering right there? It's not. Centered. So the effect was centered, but it was a line left within the effect. Oh. Uh, <laughs> things that Fractal Design is really known for are their efforts in soundproofing computer systems. Still true to this day. Yeah, but if you fast forward, like, they were one of the first ones to admit this didn't do anything for sound. Oh, really? All it did was add weight to the panel. I always thought that it was no. being muffled in. <laughs> no, because that was why they said... My life is a lie. <laughs> that was why they said they, they didn't do side panels for so long. Or side windows? Because they were like, oh, but oh, the noise. Cause of the, but cause of the, yeah. it really, like when they started doing that, those like chamber tests, it just like didn't matter. The inside. <laughs> Fractal definitely didn't leave all of its design innovation only on the exterior of the case. The inside is very. Dang, they've been doing that. It doesn't thing. exist anymore. Like expansion slots. Expansion slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hard drive expansion slots. 140 four, millimeter five, intake five, fan pre-installed in the bottom of the case. The front I/O cables. Oh, but the cables though. <laughs> You got your you got your Christmas mint mm. at the bottom. At least they gave you a fan grill so that your cables didn't just go <laughs> on, on the fan blades. I would recommend moving the 140 millimeter fan to the front of the case for an extra. Dang, that logo! One of the, the features that logo. I really like. 140 millimeter fan. 
<laughs> They're like a one's aligned right and one is upside down. I know, down. you're so OCD about those now. <laughs> I do, but you see why I did it back then, right? So the cables came out together. Oh, okay. You can remove the middle cage and reinstall it sideways to get better airflow across the oh, intake and into the cage. There was so case. much more cool. innovation back then, I swear. Or if you're not going to install any hard drives in that cage at all, you can always remove it. I think part of it is just the death of the hard drive. Like, yeah, yeah, we probably. don't have to deal with figuring out where to put this thing and cool it. You can put almost as many NVMEs now on a motherboard as you could put hard drives I know, yeah. in this case. <laughs> I have a hard also, time. Also, a modern with that. graphics card wouldn't fit. It's hard to keep the $50 yeah. cases have tools. That's another board. reason why the middle cage came out. Yeah. Although graphics cards back then, what was considered big, <laughs> is not. Is which one required. So I'm like, okay, I need more time. Let's just slow it down. So here's 8 <laughs> FPS for you. And for the people, the editors in the audience that are like, oh, did you do the optical flow? This was like probably five years There's before no optical flow. flow was available in Premiere or anything. ATX, <laughs> micro ATX, mini ITX, EATX. You got your computer. Look, when Fractal supported EATX before they dropped it for so many years. Because remember, they ended up having that like bend in the motherboard tray. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So EATX wouldn't yeah. fit. That's just a standard ATX. Hey, that's the same board that we got sitting up at the front over there. <laughs> Look at it. It's one of the UDs. I think that's the one sitting up there. Yeah. Corsair brings gaming to the next level with the Xenion 45 inch flexible OLED Xenion Flex display. With up to 240 hertz refresh rate, 0.03 millisecond gray to gray response time, motion blur canceling, anti reflective coating, burn in protection, and customizable bend based on user's preference, the Xenion Flex from Corsair allows gamers to truly tailor their display to their liking. Click the link below for more details. Dude, oh that, my god, the PC, old AMD like mounts. Dude, no, PCI ATX Express mode. 2. Oh, you're right. Oh, that is no. a regular PCI slot. What the heck? This is a newer version of that board, actually. This yeah. is a 990 FXA. And all included hardware comes in okay, a box that has funny. every single screw that you could possibly need to yeah, install PCI any PCI slot, you're right. Proof that bad. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> well, do you still have it? Yeah. <laughs> my two cents. <laughs> That's the name of the channel. Oh, back then when I thought I was like kitschy, right? <laughs> <laughs> this will catch on. Yeah. It did, but still. Of the Crackle still. Define XLR2 full time. So this was just the build I did for Mark. His name was Mark. This was the build I did for Mark. Look, even back then, the cable management this effort I, I went through. It's a gaming through. case, technically. Oh, dude. See how the PCI Express cable's all twisted? Yeah. That was because I hated the way that back then they were individual wires, right? Yeah. On that power supply. So all I did was put them in my drill and then spin Oh, them. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, then, do that, I do that with like the drone wires all the time. It's more case <laughs> because it look all super neat. Oh, those power supply cables though on the 24 Yeah, they never, they were always just all the colors. Where you care that about cooler master cooler though. sleek the yeah. sound deadening features of this case are unlike anything. Were you just shooting a wide open aperture just because like that was the cool thing to do back then? Oh yeah, you needed depth of field. Yeah, like every bokeh, shot. Bokeh, yeah. all the bokehs. Yeah, F1 ate every shot because it looks cool. Quiet. I built four systems in this. Okay, DVI on that graphics card, so there's some date for you right that there. Hi, Mark. Satisfied with this. I remember case. Mark uh, it's <laughs> being sad. Heavy heavy. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I actually used my iPhone with a decibel meter. <laughs> I always wondered how accurate those apps were. <laughs> I'm wondering to, like, how. how how beneficial was it to my audience to shove the meter in the computer? <laughs> yeah, wait, aren't you supposed to measure it where like you Like three are? feet. Yeah. Typically three feet. <laughs> when you take into account the side panels and the sound deadening material that's inside this case. And how accurate was like an iPhone? That's what I was saying. Meter? Like, I wonder, I wonder. Steve probably freaking felt the disturbance in the force. What's the difference between peak and max? I'm just now noticing this. <laughs> Isn't that the, implied the same thing? <laughs> the, the same picture. That they installed the 140 millimeter fan in the bottom. When you install a fan on the oh, bottom, peak is like, wait, I'm about to give some very insightful information. When you install the fan on the bottom, what happens? Pulling air up from the ground or the carpet or the floor. Even though you have a filter there, you're going to pull a lot of dirt in with it. So like I said in the I mean, that's true. Yeah. View. I definitely recommend that you take that <laughs> later. Hey, 10 year ago, Jay, in about eight years, the O11 Dynamics gonna come and be like, all the fans on the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I think also like back then, people were a lot more comfortable putting their computers on the ground and like under the desk. Back then I used to recommend, just go to Home Depot or something, you get a piece of wood, and yeah, chop yeah. it, stain it or something, put that on the carpet and put the computer on that. Just get a little stain. Cause the thing was, Back then, viewers that watched my channel remember I had that very shaggy carpet. Yeah. Oh, right. right. Very shagadelic, so you, baby. So you had the worst case scenario, which is perfect. Shaggy carpet. So when I would put the case down on it, yeah. the carpet fibers would just mm -hmm. into the case. And so it just 
One, if it wasn't choking the fan airflow off, you were getting all the dust and dirt with it. Yeah. And that home was, <laughs> that home was like 50 years old when I lived there, so no matter what, there was dust and dirt everywhere. Mm. Zip ties. I, I still to this day feel like the most beneficial possible way to provide a case review is to do a build in it. Back then I was doing a build every couple months maybe, right? I was hired to build this computer and like five exact computers like this. So I had to do the build anyway, so I was like, I might as well just give some insight on that. But man, it would be time consuming if I had to do a custom, like especially water-cooled stuff in every single yeah. build. Mm. Ever, including the fact that I was over- But it kinda is like a hard fact in that like, yeah, you really do Because some things that know. seem like great ideas may not be practical when you try and use them. Yeah, how many times has that happened? With Usually like you get bit with the case saying, you could fit radiators in all these spots, and then you realize like, but once you put radiators in all those spots, they conflict in some way. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, I can't reach my EPS, can't reach the motherboard. I'm trying to hear my conclusions here, because I want to see if I, Agree with me. But it's going to be a bit tight up top because there's not a whole lot of room between the top of the case and the top of the motherboard. Okay, that's true. So we're talking about like the height of. First of all, you notice how there's no VRAMs on the top mm -hmm. or VRMs on the top? I said VRAMs. What's a VRAMs? VRAMs. <laughs> there's no VRMs at the top. So if you have your motherboard like that and then the top of the case is too close to it. That's when they started offsetting the radiators, remember? So they'd be more yeah. towards the, the side panel, so they would clear that. So that's what I'm referring to there. Is there that one gets a little close, though, with that, that vertical. Yeah, piece it does. Mm -hmm. Especially for back then. Because I can't unsee all the vignetting. Because that was cool back then, dude. I know. Oh, I still do it in montage. My <laughs> <laughs> new video out. idea. We're gonna let Nick edit something, and then we'll just critique that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, just it just reminds me of like that era. Kids' photography degree suddenly has room to talk stuff. Wait, have, yeah. What was I've, your first video camera? Mine. Yeah. I used. I didn't have a video camera. I had a D thirty five hundred Nikon. Oh. He's a Nikon kid. That explains it. Wow. We're not even we're not even Canon kids. We're Sony family. Yeah, actually, yeah. <laughs> you know, crazy curves, crazy design looking case. This is definitely the way to go. The brushed aluminum front. It's talking about the aesthetics here, and back then, this is when like Cooler Master and Thermal Take and all of them were coming with like the crazy space angles on everything. Oh yeah. It was the same steel structure, but they had all the crazy plastic angles everywhere. And and Mark specifically was like, I want an understated just a classy case, and I chose the fractal. Give me a box some brush metal, basically. <laughs> basically, no, I, 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 approved, I got the case approved from, from him before I bought them. I had to do five identical builds. But again, this were for his jewelry store. Yeah, right? so you can't so, have a super gamery looking PC with blue LEDs everywhere. Because right. <laughs> that was the only color you got back then. This guy actually reached out to me like not all that long ago, and he said they're still running. Nice. Wow. And that was the CX500 power supply, either CX500 or 600 back then, which, which was a budget Corsair line. Um, and I remember that there was a lot of questions people had when I did the build saying that power supply is garbage It's gonna fail. Um, I think only one died in that amount of time But yeah, he told me they were still running for my rate my non RGB Razor black widow keyboard is just blue back then you had to choose green blue or red like as the color there was <laughs> no <funny>. RGB yet <laughs> Boring, but it was a blue switch, super click clacky. You know, 140 millimeter intake square on the side, but you can obviously mount the side panel if you want to go that route. But anyway, this has been Jay's two cents. This and has cool. been Jay's two cents. Literally. Oh my god. I like this video. Six. <laughs> be my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I was be my friend. <laughs> tweet at me. Stop tweeting at me now. Yeah. <laughs> like I would just turn it to no. Don't be my friend and don't tweet at me. <laughs> and as always, I'll see you in my next video. I see you. This is three. I'll see three, you in my right? next video when yeah, I see it, you. It has, uh, <laughs> when did I you hear that? A fire in the Bronx. Yeah, ten people died in a fire in the Bronx that killed ten people in the fire in the Bronx. <laughs> you know what though? This wasn't that bad. I'd been doing it for a year already. The thing is, I didn't go back. I didn't want to do eleven years. Years in C well, although my channel didn't exist um, in July of 20 wait 2012 no it didn't exist in July 2012 I started it in August oh mm -hmm. so in a couple <laughs> yeah a couple months yeah because technically my 11 year anniversary uh, is going to be next month so yeah I apparently it started figuring it out just for the heck of it now I want to go back <laughs> one more. Wait, you were editing that video on accident. <laughs> No, I had to. I just went to it on here because I can see the dates here. Oh, let's see why Jace Two Cents says you should build your own computer. <laughs> That's a ten-minute oh. talking head. Or, or oh, like really? a, or, well, back then, talking heads weren't a thing. That was over gameplay. Right. So I was just. Oh yeah, I remember everyone did that. It's yeah. that format's making a comeback on TikTok. Wait a minute, I did a a review teaser. Wait, really? This was 
technically yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see it. It's in a 1 minute 11 second video, <laughs> and 10% ten ten of second? it is yeah. gonna be the intro. 10 second intro? Wait, oh, okay, 7 seconds. Wait, what was that? You can tell I was just like struggling to figure out how the intros are supposed to go. It's literally just... Keyframe. No, I mean, it's literally just their stock photos. Oh, you have a block shot. Hey! Ooh, sparks! <laughs> the action essential sparks on the ground. Remember we pack. filmed that? I filmed yeah. that at my lunch break. Yeah. <laughs> With you, my phone. You told me to come meet you at, You told me to come meet you for that and to try them out. Yeah. <laughs> so. I love it. I love it because it's just getting it done. That's the it. action essentials pack is with those sparks. Mm -hmm. Still have it. Still use it, actually. Exclusive review coming soon. Ooh, you had an exclusive. Wait, was this your first exclusive? I thought this company. I thought the bullet headphones were. Yes. <laughs> the their Munitio was the very first company to give me something to do a review on. Oh, okay. Like with no strings attached. That's like sick. we don't just tell us what you think, kind of a thing. Yeah, the Munitio Pro 40s, I love them. Look, if you haven't watched any of these old videos, maybe I, I wanna do it on the anniversaries, like the 10 years ago kind of a thing. But if you guys have any interesting old videos of mine that I, like I've got over 2000 of them, I've forgotten most of them. <laughs> when I watch them, it's like watching it for the first time. I literally have zero memory whatsoever of making that case video that we just did. Wow. I have, like I have a photographic memory, but I've got so but many- the film roll is only yeah. 36 <laughs> pictures. <laughs> yes, because I've got so it's many videos boring. now. It's very rare that I watch an old video that I remember making it. I do not have, like, that was an out of body experience for me. That's right crazy. So, what so, about the tilt battery? I remember. <laughs> okay, I remember that. that. Okay. Just because okay. you guys have told me that so many times. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this has been interesting. If you enjoy this kind of content, then uh, let us know down below and we'll continue to do it. Uh, otherwise, maybe we won't. I don't know. This is fun for us. We'll see. And Phil was not here for any of this. Yeah. He's been here since the beginning, so he remembers most of this, I think. His photographic memory is 110 film. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a Polaroid and it starts to fade. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you in my next video when I when see I you. When I see you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome.